What's Up Insiders, Juices Jack at VapingInsider.com. We're at the beautiful Mohegan Sun at NVE. We're going to take a walkthrough and we're going to show you the top mods of the expo. I'm at the Asmodis booth with my boy Joe. He's been here with me before. We've done it a bunch of times already. Joe, tell us about this beautiful mod right here. All right, so check it out. This one is the Ohm's Mium 2. It's a single 18650 battery. It has all the safety regulations that, that you've seen in the Luna and the pumper, right. and the max output of 80 watts. So it's a pretty nice stabilized wood. It feels very comfortable in the hand. Yeah, so Orange. we have them in blue and green stab wood. Look at that, man. Yep. Comfortable, man, yeah. comfortable. Yeah, it fits perfect Trigger right finger. There. Trigger finger. Thumb fire, yep. either way, it's comfortable, yeah. but it's better as a trigger. Yeah, it is. Man, oh man, and how many watts you get out of this? You get a max output of 80. About 80? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's yeah. good, depending on the battery you're yeah. running, right? Yep. I got John over here from Wismic, and we're gonna go over some of the new mods that Wismic has coming out on the market right now. Show us that radio one, John. Where is that? Okay, this one right here. This is gonna be the Wismic AI. This is gonna be a new device that should be coming out in the next month or so. What it is is basically it's a spin on our Wismic Active. We got such a huge response with the Wismic Active. We decided to step it up and what we did is instead of it being an internal battery, we now have the dual 18650 that are removable. You're gonna get longer battery life. You have more variety of battery choices. Uh, and the biggest addition to this device is simply the fact that AI is basically you can link it to Alexa. So you can actually take your Alexa app that you use for your device at home and now communicate with Alexa through your vape. That is absolutely fantastic because I have Alexa and I, I, I would definitely use that. That's fantastic. Yeah, so you could be vaping and just be like, Alexa, turn off my, you know, my kitchen light and it's done. And, and she'll talk through the speaker to you. Can Alexa adjust my wattage? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. No, okay. yeah. But We're that's gonna. A fair question. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe someday we'll get that to work out. <laughs> not yet, but soon. I hope. I want to sit there and I want to say, Alexa, 75 watts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna hire you in R and D. <laughs> I got my man Seth here from Lazy Vapors, and he's gonna show us some of these custom mods. They're absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Seth, talk to us about these mods. All right, well, I've been building mods for maybe four, maybe five years. Whenever I started building mods, um, it was more or less just because I wanted to. I've always built stuff whenever I was a kid, and throughout growing up, I've just always built things. Um, I had my first commission job to build a custom aquarium stand when I was 14 for about $25,000. It paid for most of my college, and um, so I used to build forts and draw pictures and want to be an architect, but I wrestled all my life, so it was like a, I was like a hidden nerd. Like, I always want to be a nerd, you know? Uh, but, yeah, I, I hit it with my wrestling. Uh, and then whenever vaping came along, I actually worked for Camel Cigarettes. Nope. Uh, I was the youngest uh, brand rep for Camel Cigarettes. And uh, they were gonna fly me to Tampa. And then the more that I learned about the industry, the more I figured out how evil it was. And the last time, the whenever I decided not to smoke anymore, I was, tw I was almost 22. And I was outside speaking to a couple lawyers at a, uh, a venue. And they called me a, a uh, what was it, a cancer peddler. I was a cancer peddler. So I changed my whole, uh, idea about it and I started vaping and that'll get you thinking somebody calling you a cancel yeah cancel I didn't want it yeah now talk to me about this mod look at the, the flat buttons are absolutely awesome where'd you come up with that I mean that's kind of cool I actually did that by accident and did then you? I came up with it it was just better it's more pocket friendly if they're not protruding they yeah. don't you won't press them yeah really really nice man some great craftsmanship yeah how Thank long you. have you been doing this uh right now four years but I only started taking it serious maybe I don't know maybe a year and a half ago okay yep now, I noticed you have a Yankee hat on. I'm not a Yankees fan. I don't even watch because sports. I, because I'm from New York, <laughs> and you don't sound like anybody from New York. Where from, are you from? I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and okay. then I uh, live in Charlotte right now. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I tell you what, man. I really appreciate you showing us your stuff. This is fantastic. Some of the most beautiful mods at the expo. Just fantastic, man. I'm at the artery booth, and they got some stuff here that I haven't seen before. They got this Nebel fee kind of like German engineered, really, really heavy, solid in the hand. It feels fantastic. Check out those buttons. Just an awesome, awesome job. The build quality just feels phenomenal. I can't wait to review this one. Check this little guy out, man. I got the Cub. What? Yeah, it's the Cub. It's a cute little mod. 1,000 ma milliamp hour battery. 
little tank. You get two coils with it. You get a ceramic coil and a mesh coil. And I just think, I don't know, it's the cat's ass to me, man. I like this thing. It's, it's just cute. It really is. I don't know any other way to say it. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Here's the woody version. Check that out, man. It comes in carbon fiber. I mean, I just think it's adorable. It really is. This is definitely the cutest mod at the expo. I got Mitch, and he's here from New York Custom Stabs. And you got to take a look at some of the creations this guy has made. His mods are drop dead gorgeous. Mitch, tell us a little bit about what goes into making something like this. Well, they take about 15 hours nope. to complete. They're all handcrafted. The only thing we use a drill press for is to get the battery tubes in here. Unbelievable. They're all hand done, hand sanded, 15 different grits of sandpaper, two different compounds on the, the polishing wheel. And the best part is, if you like a specific style, but not the color, we've got a ton of blocks back in the shop in Long Island, New York. Hit Mace up on Facebook, and any specific style you want, you pick the block, you pick the style, you pick the, the build. We could do series, we could do parallel. We've done one of these with two 21700 batteries in there. No kidding. Now let me ask you a question. The finish on these, these are not raw stab wood. Are they polished? Is there some type of coating on it? There's Talk no coating. There's no They're lacquer. They're high polished? They're high polished. Wow. The only thing we use is something called Renaissance Wax. Uh -huh. And it just makes the color pop on these amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Now look at something like this. I mean, this has got the DNA chip in it, correct? It's a DNA 250 chip. 250, it's okay. got a Max Amp 1850 LiPo battery in there. Wow. They're lifetime warranty. You have any problems with it, you send it back to us. 48 hours, we'll turn it around and have it sent out to you like that. I'll tell you what, man, for its size, I thought it would be a lot heavier. It's not. I've asked it's people to pick heavy. these. Everyone that comes by, I ask them to pick it up, and they're the same reaction you just had. I want to see the green one because you'll understand my pain, Mitch, because I'm from New York, and I am a long-suffering Jet fan. You'll understand Aren't my we pain, all? right? You Aren't understand we all? Pain. But that's why I gravitated towards the green box. Because, it's a beautiful, man, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Man. It really is. They did a, I mean, it's not jet green, but it's beautiful. It's, it's close. It is close. It's, yeah, close. it's close, yeah. Really, really nice work, man. Very, Thank very you. impressed. I'm at the Acrome booth, and we're going to talk about the Foosh with my boy Adam over here. Before we even get into it, though, Adam, the nice colors attracted me, but I think I'm about the only vape reviewer that didn't get one of these for review. So tell us a little bit about this because I don't know anything about it. All right, so the Fuge basically bridges the gap between regulated and unregulated devices. So it's made to look like a mech mod, but it does have a safety chip in it. Nice. So in addition to that, it has five different color configurations that you can use in every single one of them. So the way to switch between the colors is to just flick your wrist like this. Yeah. And then the lighting has three different modes, either light on all the time, light off all the time, or breathing mode. And let me show you breathing mode, because that one's my favorite. So breathing mode, you just shake it twice, and this one only turns on while you're firing the button. So when the bar when it's firing, turns on, you let it go, turns off. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I like that. That's actually really cool, man. Yeah, and it hits as strong as a mech mod does, but it gives you the peace of mind and safety of a regulated device. And you're running a tank on there, I noticed, right? Yeah, I'm running the gear by Ofer. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Oh, fantastic, man. I'll tell you what. The beautiful colors actually caught my eye when I walked. I couldn't even walk by. That's how nice it looked. It really did. And I was just like, I got to get this on camera because I've seen everybody review it, and it just looks fantastic. How's it been selling? So far, so good. You know, we're still brand new hitting the U.S. market, but the reception has been wonderful. The customer feedback has been wonderful, and we're looking over to future projects as well. So our company is very interested in creating things that are new, things that are not available in the market. So definitely something to keep an eye on. There you guys have it, man. You got it straight from Adam at the Acrome booth. We were talking about the Foosh. And that's it inside is that's our full day at Mohegan Sun at NVE. I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough and our little NVE experience type video. We're on our way back to New York now. Deuces.